What's going on? This is Jada Black back with another video. Before I get started, so make sure that everyone knows, make sure you like the Facebook page. We're almost at 800 likes, trying to get to a thousand. So make sure you go and like it, <clears throat> as well as follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. People have been sending me videos on Instagram. That's fine. Um, you know, so make sure you go and do that. Now, this video is going to be sort of like an extended response to a video I, or to an article of this black female being chosen as the new bachelorette. And, you know, ABC is going into this whole social justice, politically correct, black swirling narrative that they have on ABC. ABC is a very popular network with black women. And not only did they announce this now during the still going on of the Bachelor show because this particular female is still a contestant on that show, but they did it really early. And I know why they did it. It's because they saw an opportunity to gain headlines and to gain support for this new bachelorette, which I have no issue with it, you know. But see, the thing is, is that I feel like they're using and manipulating black women and the insecurities that some of these black women have. Not all, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of them. They, they come to my videos upset for nothing. But they're using these insecurities about this wanting to be the standard of beauty, Wanting to be number one. Wanting to be in the spotlight. They're using this against black women. Now, if you look at their network card, Shonda Rhimes has put together a lot of television shows that's geared towards black women dating non-black men. And that's not the point of this video, but I just want to point that out. So, ABC knows this. And they say, well, let's, let's have a black female bachelorette and play to the insecurities of black women. Which is basically what this show is going to do because they're still taping. Well, I don't know if they probably done taping, but they still and still have the bachelor season going on. They've already named this particular woman, <laughs> and this show is basically going to pander to the insecurities of these black women who feel like they're not the standard of beauty. They want to compete with white women. They feel like all these brothers, all they want is is, is light light-skinned black women and now they have a show that has a black woman who's going to be giving the roses instead of waiting to receive one and i believe abc themselves is playing to their insecurities which is what what they've been doing but they've been able to get away with it now i, I like i said i have no issue with this because i know that the conclave of black females who support interracial dating are going to love this show. They're going to love it. Because right now you have this same black female who's who's kissing and tonguing down a white guy on his show, which they're probably loving every minute of. So they'll have this show to be able to live out their fantasies like they do on Scandal. Now, I'm not talking to the black females who actually still date and want to date black men. But this is to the insecure women out there who support any narrative of a black female being in any vicinity of a non-black man. I just want you to know that you're basically being played. You're being manipulated. But you can't tell these women shit. And what's funny is that they announced this during Valentine's Day as if they felt like this would be a morale boost to a lot of these single, you know, minority females out there <laughs> who may be single <laughs> and they ain't got no Valentine's Day. <laughs> but they just trying to play their insecurities, man. Now, I looked on Twitter and you had black females calling this woman unattractive. They should have chosen better. They're not even condemning the show. And these same people will be talking about the uh, system of white supremacy and the ongoing legacy of slavery. 
but they will be happy that this show is going on, but they'll say, well, she's not attractive enough. Like, as if they feel like they should be in her spot. Now, you have a lot of white people who are in support of this show. You even have black men who are congratulating her, you know. And as I said, there's nothing wrong with this. But I just want people to understand that this is a narrative that ABC is trying to push. They're trying to manipulate and, and utilize the audience of, of single black women who want to swirl that they have gained with scandal and how to get away with murder. And they're using it for this show. This is why they announced it so early. Because I'm too, I too, I'm too am curious as to why they announced this so early. Like, what were they trying to prove? Like, what are you, it's as if they're trying, they know that, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, is, you put something out there, it's going to get out there quick, especially with the rap. I'm too am curious as to why they put this out as early as they did. But no publicity is that bad, you know what I'm saying? Again, you know, I have nothing against them having a black bachelorette, black bachelorette. But I just want y'all to understand something. If they were to have a black, okay, let's say they had a bachelorette show and a black guy was a, a runner-up or a semifinalist and he's tongue-kissing this white woman, there would be such an outpour of outrage on social media about this. To the point to where they wouldn't be able to put this guy in his own show. Okay? Any public display of affection of a black man with a white woman is going to piss off. Especially if it's on television. Especially on a show like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. There's always going to be an outrage. You know? So, and, and, and if you put a brother... <laughs> In his own bachelor sh show with non black, with a bunch of non black women, how long do you think that show will last before they start, people start protesting and boycotting that show? How long do you think that, 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 that show would last? As much as you have certain black women saying that it's more normal to see a black man with a white woman and a black woman with a white man, they're fucking lying. Black women cannot stand seeing a brother, especially if he if they are attracted to him. Even if they're not attracted to him, they'll be staring him down, talking shit, mumbling under their breath because they don't like it. Especially if they've been single for a long time. And they cause because as quietly as it's, it's kept, when black women see a black man with a non black woman, they immediately think that brother got money. They immediately think he's educated. They immediately think that, you know, he makes a lot of money and he just chose to be with a white woman. Even though they would consider him an educated lame. You see endless videos being made about educated lames. Because these black, these sisters do not like these educated brothers because these brothers are too intelligent to be controlled. They're too intelligent to deal with a, with a, with a female who, who loves to argue and bicker and fuss and fight. They know this. They know brothers ain't going ain't going, you know, put up with that. So this is why they'll deal with these ignorant negroes who all they want to do is have a place to stay, a car to drive, a woman to have sex with, you know, um, you know, for you know, a woman to put some money in his pocket. He ain't going to question nothing. He's not going to question nothing. But if you're dealing with an educated man who knows better, well, he's going to question everything. Not on some jealousy shit, but on some, you know, you know, you're not gonna talk to me any kind of way. You're not gonna threaten to kick me out of this house. You're not gonna control me and tell me where I can go, or when I can go, when I know you out there talking to different men. But that, but but ABC, the network itself, is pushing a narrative. And what's was what was more funny and interesting. Is that the network is run by a black female. 
The network is ran by a black female. And Shonda Rhimes <laughs> is the second black female who runs that network. So you got two black females who basically is running that network. And they okay shows with black women with white men. And The Bachelorette is going to be a fantasy come reality for a lot of these women who hate black men but support swirling. But got their fist in the air talking about they pro-black. You know, they definitely going to love this. But guess what? The majority of black men aren't really going to care. They are really not going to care. They have their own thing going on. They can care. They're not going to police who black women date. They don't they're not going to care about these shows. Black men don't even talk about scandal anymore. They don't talk about how to get away with murder. They don't talk about these shows that blatantly show swear. They don't they don't watch them especially as as egregious as a show as scandal is. They still don't talk about it anymore. Because it is what it is. Black women chose to support that show. That's all there is to it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to put a link in the description box to the video response that I did on the TMZ article. So you can go and see it for yourself.